What it do? T.O. represent BBK TV. Some hot as bulls. I triple it. You don't work, you don't sleep, you don't grind, you don't shine. I promise you, I got some of the hot bulls you ever seen with your two eyes. And today, I need y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. Before you get into this video, cleaned up. Y'all, I mean, I, when I clean up, they make a mess, man. They always find something to get into, man. That's why they get put back in the cage, man. That, that, that right there, that's why. That's why. I let them out, man. They just find something to get into, man. Just had powder everywhere, man. Just had it everywhere. I had mopped and cleaned up and everything. And they just come through and just get it right back dirty. But that's puppies, man. They don't know. They don't understand. So you just got to clean it up, you know, and just put them, just put them back up. And they going to learn, though. You know what I'm saying? They want to be out and roam around. Stop getting in and stuff. Yes, yeah, sir. But, yeah. We got uh, we got some new stuff in today, y'all. Yes, yeah, sir. About to upgrade the kennel. I told y'all I had some stuff. Uh, Amazon, they wasn't, they wasn't fast with this delivery, but, uh, you know, they had to get it. And, and uh, it wasn't in stock, so they had to get it and get it shipped there. And then they got it shipped here and all that. But uh, it finally made it here, man. I bought two of them. I wanted to see how they, uh, how they work. Um, I wanted to see the area. I wanted to see if my dogs have enough room before I just buy my, for all the dogs and then I end up having to replace them. So I'm gonna see how they work. Uh, I bought two, made some uh, pet gazebos. I'm gonna show y'all. We gonna we gonna set them up in this video. Um, I don't know. I probably uh, record me setting up one. I ain't gonna really set up both of them on the video video be too long or i might do one of them fast forward things that i do and throw some music in there and, and you know so y'all can watch it well work you know what i'm saying yes, but yeah sir. protect your pet at home or on the go yes sir it comes with a five year limited warranty baby yes sir low profile kennel ideal for pets up to indoor 200 pounds outdoor 80 pounds yes sir the pet gazebo uh advantec is five foot you dig? I got it with a gazebo. I got something with a little style. It was so many options. I didn't know what I wanted to go with. But I was like, hey, that right there, it looked like it got a little style to it, a little flavor. I can do something with that. So, yeah, I got some plans. And if everything go accord, how I like, uh, we're going to dig that thing out, man. Yes, sir. So, that's what we got today, man. We're going to be setting up these pet gazebos, low-profile kennels. They only five foot in height, uh, so that's why they say it's good for indoors because they not they not tall, so you you don't need that much room to set them up, or you could put them outside because they still uh, made out of metal and you can still bolt them down, so you can put it outside or indoors. If you put it outside, it come with a torque, so they won't get rained on. I saw it online; they had them like on their uh, balconies and like next to their pools, stuff like that. Still, they didn't have it like in the grass, but I don't, I don't think it'd be one that'd be good for y'all to set up in the grass or nothing like that. More like uh, on your back patio, uh, next to the pool, somewhere like that, or uh, indoors. Like I'm gonna put y'all know I'm putting mine in my garage, so it'd be good for the garage, something like that. But not uh, as far as in putting it back there in your backyard in grass and stuff. I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend getting this for that. I would go to Academy or Track Supply and they got the fences. And them fences about the same price as this. Five by fives and they got 10 by 10s, the uh, chain link fences. And you can set up if you want to put your dog in your backyard. But American Bullies, man, I, they not backyard dogs. They not, they not built for that. So they really don't need to be outside like that. That's why my dogs are indoors. They play outside during the day. You know, they get the exercise, but they come in and they relax indoors. So I'm getting more dogs, so I just got to upgrade the kennels and everything. And this is a part of the process. So as y'all know, I'm not taking this money that I'm getting from my dogs and going out, blowing it, spending it on me. I'm investing back into the program, back into the house. You know, we're going to end up moving here eventually. All that man, so everything I'm doing, man, is, is to upgrade the kennel, is to move forward. We're trying to go to the top, and the only way to do that is invest your money properly. So I went ahead and bought two of these to see how they work. Because when I move into my new spot, I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have a facility in the backyard, so I'm gonna need something that's gonna be lined up, all looking nice. I'm gonna get the stackables too, uh, them, them drop stackables, but I also want these. Uh, for the big dogs and the uh, drops, they'll be for the puppies and stuff. 
yeah, let's go ahead. We're gonna pull this thing out, man. We're gonna see how it look. Okay. And we got we got some dog shows coming up too. Uh, I'll be in Kissing Me, Florida, in, in April for just for like a day or so. Uh, probably Friday. I think what is it? April tenth. I think we're gonna be in Kissing Me, Florida, for a Bully Pedex show. We're gonna go hit that up. We're gonna take Prince out there. I'm gonna start taking Prince around the world. People's champ. People's Champ got to start going around the world, different state to state, uh, going to different dog shows, competing up against uh, some of the best out of every state, man, so he can get seen all over the world, man. I, I want to really push that boy. That's like my prized possession. He, he I, I waited on him for like a year or so. Uh, if y'all know the story, I saw his mother when his mother was like six, six months or so, and then... Uh, I got since I saw his mother, I ended up getting her um, her brother because she the lady redid the breeding. Shout out Monica Mello all the way up there in uh, in the East Coast, Rhode Island. She redid that breeding, and I already liked uh, Prince Mama, so I went ahead and grabbed Drip. That's why I got Drip because I was waiting. But uh, oh, hold on, let me rewind it. Okay, I like I like Prince Mama, right? Well, Prince Mama got stole. So since Prince Mama got stole. Monica, she had redid the breeding, and then that's when I whoop, grabbed Drip because she redid the breeding, and I already liked Prince Mama, so I didn't think I was going to get no puppies from her because she got stole, so I didn't think she was going to get her back. So that's why I grabbed Drip. That's how I ended up getting Drip. Boom, I got Drip. And after I got Drip, uh, so a few months later, boom, she found Millie. So boom, when she found Millie, Millie, she, she was old enough. She was down there about to get ready to come in her heat. So she found Millie, and then boom, a couple months later, Millie came in the heat So boom When Millie came in the heat I'm like damn I got drip But I been wanting a puppy off Millie That's what I was waiting on But I was sad Because she got stolen So I never thought I'd get a puppy off of her So boom When she bred Millie To a uh, click Click clock Click the freak I'm like oh Damn I'm like I gotta hop on that So that's Why I end up hopping on that And that's how I end up Getting Prince And drip Because Prince mama got stole So I didn't think I was gonna end up Getting anything So I grabbed drip Got dripped, and boom, Millie Mama got found. The people uh, returned to, to Monica. Uh, it come to find out, the lady didn't know that the dog was stolen. Her uh, husband had, had has took it and brought it home and said he found it, a bottle, whatever, whoop, whoop, whatever the lies he, you know, what I'm saying, said. So she didn't know. And when she found out, it got back. We got worried, got back to her because everybody was sharing it on Facebook and everything. And when she found out, she boom, she brought the dog back. She gave the dog back, and then boom, that's how I ended up getting Prince. So, with that being said, Prince is like, not for said he not supposed to be here. It went through a lot to get him. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, man, Prince, he he my dog, man. That's I was waiting on that. I had been waiting on that, and I didn't think I was gonna get it because she got stole. So I ended up getting dripped, and boom, got her back. Now I got Prince. I'm like, yeah, let it go. You know what I'm saying? So that's just a little story. For y'all, for the ones who actually be watching the videos and not be skipping through it and going to the end and all that, you know. So that's a little story about that little situation. So on to the video. Let's try to get it set up and uh, open up this box. I don't know where I'm going to set it up at. Let's try to probably set it up right here. Let me see. Y'all just be patient, stay with me, and just believe in the 
kid, man, when I tell you, man, I'm not gonna have stuff, nothing. too much. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need y'all to uh, start sponsoring the kid. So everybody hashtag go P uh, sweet tea in the comments. Gonna hashtag go P. I need some go P. Uh, I heard my mini fridge uh, that's gonna be coming. I want to be loaded up with go P. Yes, yeah, sir. So go on, tell them we needs the go P. You know what I'm saying? Go P. Holler at me. You know what I'm saying? I drink out a lot. I, I want to go on. Let's work out a deal, man. Let's let's get something going. Real talk. Cause this shit good. Alright. I might need to turn my mic around. I gotta get used to my mic. Gotta make sure it's Point in the right directions when I'm talking so y'all can hear me, man. You know what I'm talking about? But when I do this,
And it's also came in perfect timing because tomorrow is trash day, so I don't have to worry about uh, having all this trash, man. Snap in. Right there. Y'all can see it. Being it's easy to put together, I hope it's gonna be sturdy enough for my dogs. What y'all think? Let's put it back, so. Well, from the looks of it though, it's pretty easy to put together, y'all. Not, uh, not hard. Texas Bully Blast. If y'all didn't uh, watch the other videos, I will be there. Will, will Rogers Coliseum in Fort Worth. I think it's uh, May 8th. May 8th. Will Rogers Coliseum in Fort Worth. Uh, BBBK will be in the building. We're going to be doing our thing. We got two booths. We're gonna have a, a little spot.
for y'all to come and say what's up. Chill for a little bit. I'm gonna try to have some food. So we can be all be set up. This thing here pretty big, man. It's pretty big. I didn't know how big it was gonna be. I was scared. Looks like I made the right decision. We got one more. Okay. Okay, hold on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, boy. We got action. Get some uh, just hold up some lock tight or something. I don't know, make it permanent so they stay in there. I don't know. Get a lock tight though, I might need to take them out. Pretty good size. That's a pretty good size. I mean, they got my flow looking dirty with all that damn powder, man. But no, that's a pretty good size, though, man. I like that. Yo, let's get finished. Let's keep putting this thing together, man. We only uh, what six minutes? Six minutes to put that thing together. Okay. The top they go on the same way, just like the bottom. Snap on, hold it in, hold it in place. permanent it's it's holes right here and you can use a power drill and some screws and you can screw it in right here on all of them top and bottom you can screw it in and it can be permanent where it won't where it won't come apart unless you unscrew it but me I know I'm gonna be moving it around and stuff so I'm not gonna screw it in because that's uh, be a waste of time because I'm gonna have to unscrew it and screw it all back in every time then end up breaking this plastic so i'm not gonna use no power drill and screw no screws in because i don't want to have to start replacing pieces and stuff uh when, when you break them by doing all that so i'm not gonna do that extra stuff but the screws are here and do come already come with the screws 
You just got to get your power drill and screw it in, but I'm not going to do that because I'm going to want to rearrange it and move it around and maybe take it to dog shows, stuff like that. Uh, got the puppies that we have in meet and greets outside. I could take it to places like that and have a whole setup so people can see the puppies and they can run around and all that. So I ain't going to do it permanent. I like this. I really do. I'm about to set a new trend. Probably start selling these, man. You know what I'm saying? I take it like everybody else take cages and stuff and go ahead and sell them on up price. I mean, I, I get some of these in and I sell these things up there at the show, man. I can set it up and I show them, man. We'll, we'll sell them just like everybody else do everything else. Make a little profit. I'm in this game for the long run, man. It's the dog game, man. I'm learning all the little tricks and trades, all the little techniques, everything, all the dog breeders do to survive and get by, you know, uh, on a day-to-day -day basis without just selling puppies and stuff. You gotta have your all the little side hustles. So I'm trying to, I'm finding all the little side hustles, all the little stuff, man, we're gonna make it happen. Yes, yeah, sir, so y'all can get with me for sure. I'll probably start customizing some too. I saw that, I'm gonna go holler at some people and see if uh, I can get some work done on them and turn them into some BBBK gazebos. You dig what I'm saying? Have a kennel name and stuff on there like that and match my boost setup that's coming. That will be live, yes, yeah, sir. So y'all stay tuned. Well, that's really about it, man. I, do I really need to show y'all how to put up the how to put up the tent? It's really self-explanatory, but I guess I will show y'all how to put it up. I'll show y'all. So this right here, y'all see? Yeah, this right here, it got screws in it. And this right here, you just screw the little rod into the little holes, all right? When you screw them in there, this part, you're gonna want sticking out so it sit in the hole. You get what I'm saying? So everything gonna sit in there like that. And it'll come up like that. So you got to make sure it's all right when you do it. So just don't be screwing it in there and you think it ain't going to work. That's it. I'm going to do that and I'm going to get back with y'all. So
that. Got it set up, man. It usually work. Velcro strips. Wrap it around the pole here. Hey. Hmm. And that's it, man. Yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. Uh, talk to my wife, she'll tell me something. But that's all it is. Nice little gazebo setup, man. Tell me what y'all think in the comments. I'm gonna set the other one up. I'll let you know. I'll come back and uh, show y'all the new setup in a minute. When I set the other one up. But yeah, y'all let me know in the comments right now what y'all think. Yes, sir. New dog kennel. Just came in, baby. Yes, sir. Time for a whole upgrade. We're gonna be replacing all of them. Stay tuned, man. Let go. BBK TV, man. Let's see how we're doing it. Stepping our game up.